Hello everyone, welcome back to Octopath Traveler 2, a game uh, which I'm really enjoying the... I'm going to send you home. Mm, try and steal your stuff later. Uh, a game which I'm quite liking for its uh, the art, the graphics. Uh, but so far, I have to yeah, say, then. the best part Here has been the music. Music, top stomach. notch. Get back up. 10 out of 10. It's not just the music itself, um, but the the times when they decide when to bring the music into play has also been top notch. Side. Is that for sure? I across the sea. New Delsta. What are you? You're a grab a gabrudillo. Sometimes, yeah, just gotta kick him in the face. Twenty-five hundred, eh? That's not cheap. Mm. There we are, new Delsta. Uh, we'll go up to him. We'll grab his, and I guess we'll start circling south. Take the boat back. And we'll finish up with one of those two. And then we'll have all the level one pe all, uh, all the people. It's a rat! A city ratkin. Delta Flats. So we want to go north. Bring it on. Yeah. All right. I'm curious. Where went blow? Nope. Fire good. Cape Cold. Helix. Cape Cold. All right. Southern Cape Cold Snow. An electric panther. Right. Now then. 
Bring it on. If you can take it to a Bring it up. All that. All in a day's work. <laughs> Hey, buddy. How's it going? You doing okay? Rescue the man from Yeah, we're gonna rescue the man from the snow. Where am I? Was I unconscious? And the snow. Not a good place to be. You saved me there. My name is Oswald. I'm a scholar. Yeah, we like scholars. Be a traveler. I lean naturally towards the nerd scholar types in video games. I'm looking for someone. I'm sure you have your own reasons for travel. So what do you say we help each other out for a bit? Yeah, sounds great, Oswald. The only logical choice, and my <gasps> magic is sure to refuse. You've chosen well. Yeah, I want to hear a story. All things in this world have a source. <laughs> yeah, there's a philosophical argument for God based on that theory, or that idea. Nothing begets nothing. Follow the chain of cause and effect, and it will lead you to the answer you seek. I can't remember the specific name of that argument, though. For the record, you, Oswald, plead not guilty. Is that correct? <laughs> the facts are thus. Upon extinguishing the fire, the bodies of your wife and daughter were found in the rubble. Mm -hmm. They were nearly charred beyond recognition. A gruesome sight. I'm sure you agree. Thus the court accepts, without objection, immolation as the cause of death. However, there is one last inexplicable detail. Nothing one could reasonably consider the cause of the conflagration was found at the scene. Ergo, the fire ought not to have happened at all. Absent the use of magic. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> if, if your only connection, though, is, aha, you know magic. You were a scholar of magic, weren't you, Oswald? Is that a mere coincidence? Hm, I think not. Uh, until you have more evidence, yes, it is. Having conducted a thorough investigation of the scene, the court holds the following to be true. You, Oswald, were the only one capable of starting such a fire that night. In the sacred name of Alifan the Scholar King. Wow, that is quite the Well, you know what? Verdict. A corrupt court? I'm okay with that Oswald in a JRPG. V. Van Stein. If we remember Chrono Trigger, we find you guilty of the murder of your wife and daughter, for which you are sentenced to life imprisonment on Frigid Isle. Ooh. Do you have any last words? Mm. <laughs> Harvey. Harvey, the, man the Wonder Hamster? No, no, someone else. Harvey, Harvey, Harvey the Wonder Hamster. Oh, that takes me back. Shall die by my hand. I swear it. Well, you know, Har you know, you could bring up this Harvey fellow. Might get you not put in prison if you think he's the one behind it. Five years later. Frigidile Prison. Frigidile. 
Richard Isle. Uh, mm, a solitary island of the farm. Called the Edge of the World. Blanketed in snow all through the year. <sighs> the nearest continent is due east. Four days' journey by sea. Even on the largest vessel. No, that's not so Even bad. Then. Four days? Oops. Now we can ships. Trips to and from the Eskers place are heavily regulated. This place holds all mainlanders found guilty of the most heinous crimes. It held over 300 of us at its peak. In its 80-year history, none have escaped. Or rather, I should say, the deplorable treatment of the prisoners ensures that lives end before sentences do. That's not a good prison. I I'd have survived a terrible for 1,879 days, but neither the unforgiving climate nor the ravages of time shall extinguish the fire in my breast. Oh, he's on a murder kick! Another frigid day in hell, eh, Professor? <laughs> you know what this is? It's your little notebook. It never leaves your hands, does it? You're gonna get yourself stabbed, buddy. Oh, don't look at me like that. I'm only borrowing it. You were quite the scholar, weren't you? Yes, this notebook could be worth quite a lot. I'm sure it'd fetch me a tidy pile of cigarettes. You're welcome to take it back, of course. But you'll have to fight me for it. <sighs> oh. Oswald, at night, Oswald can mug people. Yeah, we'll mug this person. <laughs> Looks like we're gagged. Yeah. Got ourselves a grape and a level up. You think this is the kind of prison that cares about that? Help! Somebody! What's all this about? It's him. He attacked me. Well, if it isn't Oswald, our magical murderous scholar. <coughs> How do you like the new toy I gave you, Professor? <laughs> it's a fine little muzzle, isn't it? Keeps you from speaking those spells you love so much. I was I was wondering a little bit about, you know, wizard in jail, but Magic only muzzle. one who has the honor of wearing it, I'll have you know. You should be kissing my feet. <laughs> What's that look for? <sighs> I know defiance when I see it, and I'll have none of it. I'd say this warden is not a good man, but we kind of, I think, assumed... They're all I bad, really given uh, what we've learned of this prison so far. When you're begging for your life, that is. 
Thirteen seconds. Thirteen seconds from the time a prisoner calls for help to the guard's response. At least some valuable information's come of all this. One warden and 34 guards for 292 prisoners. Over time, I've learned much about the way the prison and the people within it work. I like this. I like that he's doing all these careful calculations and, and observations. Shall inform my eventual escape. <clears throat> An escape for which the plan is written in this notebook. Using a cipher, naturally. I've revised said plan numerous times these last five years, and polished it to a fine sheen. Yeah, we got a prison breakout. Only three pieces of the puzzle remain. The first, an escape route. Yeah, that's an important part of the puzzle. For this, I have chosen a passage that leads beneath the prison. This passage is overlooked even by the guards themselves, and it leads directly out of this place. I must conduct a more thorough review of it, and soon. The second, suitable clothing. Once I escape, I'll be exposed to the elements. The cold will claim me in minutes if I'm clad in nothing but these rags. I'm, I'm liking, I'm liking where he's putting his thoughts so far. The third and final, an accomplice. To escape on my own would be to rely on my own assumptions. I require the help of another with intimate knowledge of the prison's inner workings. With these three pieces in place, my plan shall move that much closer to completion. At which point, only its execution shall remain. Wake up, human filth! To work with you! Ah. What nice names. I understand this island was once dotted with mines. Entire mountains were reduced to rubble for ore. And the prison was built atop the wreckage. To this day, the remains phosphor buried in the frigid earth. It's immensely flammable and sells for a fair bit of coin. And your slave labor. So the prisoners are forced to mine it, and the guards line their pockets with the proceeds. Yeah. Mine scum! Keep those hands moving! I said, keep moving! Unless you'd rather freeze to death. He's swinging his pick. What's wrong with you? I can't move anymore. It's too cold. Don't you go soft on me, criminal filth. Need I remind you? That you were sent here to atone for your misdeeds. It was just jaywalking. So beg whatever gods you serve 
for forgiveness and dig, you useless little mole. Your life is worthless compared to the precious phosphor you cleave from the earth. And believe you me, we'd burn you instead if you were anywhere near as easy to see. He's not moving. Is he dead? Do you understand? Answer me! Warden, sir. He's already <laughs> dead. I wonder. I, I think he died pretty early in your little speech there, Warden. An unfortunately common sight. We are adaptable creatures. Any environment, no matter how horrific, can be made ordinary. Frigidile! Forced labor is followed by a vanishingly small window of free time. It is in this free time that I review the remaining pieces of my plan. They are three. The first, an escape route. The prison is as old as it is massive. There are bound to be gaps and awkward seams. Mm -hmm. Perhaps I can glean a hint or two from someone with intimate knowledge of the island's history. Ah, perhaps a guard. The second, suitable clothing. One they call the Provisioner sells the clothing I'll need to survive. But first, I need to find them. I'll start by asking any prisoners who might know this provisioner. The third and final piece, an accomplice. My accomplice cannot be an ordinary prisoner. I must find someone capable of enacting my escape plan. Mm -hmm. Then all that will remain is the plan's execution. Excellent. Alright, we're going to take a little break here, and then we're going to see about executing an escape plan. What do, uh, what do people think of Oswald so far? I'm enjoying his story. I'm amused the scholar has the power to mug people. But it should be, it should be fun to explore going forward. Talk to you later.